Makers, this is the fourth card that I'm going to make with the Tim Holtz Stampers Anonymous 2024 release of stamps and stencils. And I haven't used any of the stencils yet, so I'm excited to break into these. So they are in groups of three. Uh, there is the section with these kind of abstract shapes, and then the alpha, and then the minis. Uh, then we have the set with the kind of color wheel, some polka dots, and this uh, kind of square design that kind of reminds me a little bit of like pave, paving stones. And then the third uh, set are these kind of, uh, these seem kind of mid-century or I don't know, maybe 20s and 30s uh, kind of art deco designs to me. And so there are three of those. And I will probably be pairing them with some of the stamps, but uh, I don't have like a really concrete idea. So I've sketched out a few things using uh, this as a background and then maybe the typewriter. I kind of put in some of the crochet trims not sure I'm going to do that. And then uh, this one over here with some of the hats from Curiosity. And I thought this might make a cool background kind of done in browns. I pulled this one that I thought looked a little bit like paving stones. And I thought one of the flowers could go on it from Forgotten Garden. And then this one over here with the color wheel. I thought it might be cool to just kind of do it in like blues and then greens and teals and then stamp miss you on the background and then um you know kind of like in gray or something like that and then have the same sentiment in the center so those are kind of my ideas that i sketched out using these stencils so i'm not really sure which one i'm going to make quite yet. Uh, I did pull my set of mini uh, blending tools so that if I'm using, say, uh, this one or this one, and I want to just do like a darker brown here and then maybe lighter brown at the top, uh, these are going to be perfect for that. Or if I wanted to do like a dark green and then lighter green out toward the side, again, perfect. So I have pulled those so that I am ready to go. And as you can see, I haven't used these yet. I've been saving them for just such an occasion. So let's go ahead and get making and see what card I end up with. Well, you already know that I decided to make a masculine birthday card. So I started with a piece of Distress Mixed Media Heavy Stock. And then I put my feather stencil on there. I have the little blending tools out, the mini blending tools. And right now I am doing the top of the feathers with brushed corduroy. This second layer is gathered twigs. And then the very bottom layer, I want it to be extra dark. So that one is scorched timber. Now, Tim designed these in a tag formation. Uh, because, you know, he does a lot of demoing on tags that you can turn into card fronts. But I usually like to, if I can, use the stencil to make an entire background patterned with the stencil. And I know that's not the way he designed it, but um, he always says for us to be true to ourselves and our making style. And my making style is to use it to make an entire background pattern. Uh, so that's what I did. And now I just went over it with uh, Distress Antique Linen and I'm trimming it down by a quarter of an inch to go on the front of my card base. And I spritzed it with a little water just to make you know it uneven. And my card base was very easy to make. I just folded a piece of Distress uh, black craft stock in half and then trimmed it down so it would be an A2 size. And now I have a piece of Distress Mixed Media Heavy Stock again, and I'm pulling a couple of focal points, two of the hats, and then the Happy Birthday Sentiment from the Curiosity Shop. I'm stamping it in Distress Archival Ink in Ground Espresso, and there I sprayed over it with some 
uh, that was antique linen and then I just flicked a little bit of frayed burlap the darker brown on there and once that was dried I picked two different brown inks and to be honest I don't remember which ones I picked this one is most likely brushed corduroy at the top and then I'm sure that I picked a darker brown probably you know something like uh, the gather twigs or something like that for the bottom hat so they were just slightly different shade of brown I didn't want them to be matchy matchy and then for the bands on both of the hats I am using forest moss so that's kind of a, a deep green uh, you know almost a brown green and so then as I laid it on there, I realized it was just too big and covering up too much of the awesome stenciled background. So I trimmed it down. Then I got another piece of the black craft stock and I cut a mat, just a very thin little 16th of an inch mat. And I realized that the sentiment needed something to set it apart. And so I grabbed the paper stamp from Curiosity Shop. And I stamped it around this, the happy birthday sentiment in Grand Espresso Archival. And then I thought, oh, it just needed a little touch of something else. So I took some thin black twine that I've had from May Arts for many, many years, just wrapped it around it and tied it in a knot at the bottom of the birthday. And then I'm kind of auditioning it here on the front of the card, trying to decide, do I want it in the center? Do I want it off-centered? And yes, I decided on off-center just to the right. And that's it. The card's finished. That went together so quickly and I'm really, really happy with it. I think it uh, looks kind of not a whole lot like my drawing, but you know, you have the idea. This looks much better and I'm really happy with it. Uh, I wasn't expecting to make a masculine birthday card, but that's what I ended up with and I love it. So this feather stencil is really beautiful. And I think it's just going to be so wonderful to use with different colors, you know, and blending them uh, on it. So, but with the brown for this card, perfect for the background. I went ahead and popped up this little piece uh, that is, this is four, oh goodness, I don't know how big it is. It is two and a quarter by four. And then, so this is two and three eighths by four and an eighth uh the the mat and then i popped it up as always on some chipboard just so it has a little dimension and again uh i use chipboard because these are samples for stampers anonymous they could put on the sample boards that uh stampers puts above all of the stamps when they go to shows. And so those get put up and taken down and they get put in trucks and they're driven across the United States to different shows. So they go through weather, hot and cold. And so these uh, cards have to really withstand a lot of that. And so I use chipboard and collage medium because the collage medium is like cement. So, but for you, uh, I would just recommend the foam squares or foam tape or something like that is going to be plenty for a birthday card. Leota agrees. Right, Leota? All right. So anyway, I, this came together so quickly with the Curiosity Shop hats and the, um, I really, uh, I wasn't planning on using that square. I think this is supposed to be a sheet of paper that goes in the typewriter, but uh, I, th I think it added just enough detail right there. And then I added some twine that I've had for a really long time. And the happy birthday sentiment also from Curiosity Shop. And I think these two paired really beautifully together. I think they kind of go with, you know, the same time timeline. So anyway, if you have any questions about this card, you know what to do. Go ahead and leave them in the comments for this video or on my blog at playswellwithpaper.blogspot.com. Links to all of the products are in the description for this video below or they are on my blog again at Plays Well With Paper and uh, also still shots of this uh, card will be there as well as some simple instructions for how I made this and that's pretty much it. So Leona and I want to wish you a very creative day.